Prayer is the reason for ego to come. The reason for discrimination has closely to do something with the ego, the I. The invention of prayer to please God is the reason of this ego. And this has not been given by the creators of the religion, but by the promoters of the religion. When you engage yourself in a dialogue with God, there is an I and He relationship. The duality happens. On one hand, God is unseen, unheard. And on the other hand, you seem to have figured out God. In a way, you have decoded God. You seem to have opened and dialogued with God. Then the duality is created. Gautam Buddha, Mahavira, Jesus Christ, Guru Nanak, had no dialogue with any God. They felt it. They came out with bliss, with the very word God. They were in total love. They had nothing to ask, no favors to seek. Yet, they found God. Because they remained in silence, they felt God. They had no ambition. They had nowhere to reach. Yet, they landed. They had no duality experiences. They merged with the oneness in the silence. They experienced the calmness, the divinity. They experienced the quality of God. When you become one with all and everything, the trees, the people, the living beings, then the fragrance is felt. That fragrance is called God. The fragrance of God is then felt. A total state of non-discrimination, of merger, is becoming one with God. You are already part of the oneness. Simply you have to discover it. It is here and now. For this to happen, nothing much has to be done. You have to meditate. While you are in constant meditation, in your awareness, in your consciousness, you will come to it. Then the radiant of life will be seen. The divinity will be felt. Meditation is the path towards enlightenment. And the person who is enlightened is the one who sees the universe 
and the existence as part of the absolute. In fact, then the existence becomes the absolute. The zeroness is reached and the one who is not enlightened, he does not recognize the oneness. He divides everything into some form or the other. And for some reason or the other. And with this, he discriminates. Because when the basic oneness is not found, is not understood, then discrimination is the only possibility.